Well, this week is very much clear up week after the uh, storm of last week. And in fact, if we see here, this is where tree damage here. We walk across here and uh, there's more tree damage here. A lot of twigs still about. We've done our best to get rid of most of it, but you see there's, there's deep ruts here. And what we'll do is we'll get some topsoil. We'll fill it in with topsoil. And then what we do is we go around it with a fork. Um, if you imagine the side of it and you just lift the turf a little bit and then fill it in with uh, soil a good quality topsoil and then we'll try actually because grass seed is so reasonably priced we'll most likely overseed even at this stage so that will start to put the area back into shape yeah and we've got these beds to sort out a lot of debris in here you can see tree debris bit of leaf still from the storm going to clear these out and get these dug over because these are going to be planted with grasses fairly soon over here we can see the snowdrops didn't get as damaged as uh, as i thought they would be um far less damage and uh, there's the stump and he will be stump ground out and then we can just make a slight mound here and the grass will just grow over it and hopefully the snowdrops and it and uh, other wildflowers we can plant in it will just cover the area if we look across here you can see that i'm walking around here a um, bit of i think it's uh prunus posadii red leafed uh prunus in uh, lovely bloom well worth growing also if you've got a green background which we have here of pine and whole oak, evergreen oak um it looks rather attractive because you get the red leaf against the green as well and a bit of cotoneaster sticking out there as well over here the shrubbery bed has got to be sorted out but here you can see there's a large pile of uh, chippings and we're going to be using these chippings to go through the shrub beds here and they've just use as a mulch and that will be before we uh, plant this area up as we've moved i'll just show you some snowdrops that we moved from an area where we were walking old cotoneasters that we've tried moving here some are yeah, they're starting to green up quite well we moved those we dug those out of a, an old area with paving here's some snowdrops that we moved they seem to be taking they, they seem to have taken okay so there are plenty to be getting on with and the other thing is of course as you've noticed yes we've cut the grass needless to say that's one of the easiest ways of picking up a lot of leaf debris when you've made uh, a mess through the storm as it has here so there's a few jobs to get on with uh, get those weeds oh, look at the weed here we haven't edged these properly yet these are going to be edged with metal edge in these beds can you see the weed there, look. We that out. We'll go through these beds, claw them up, and start to pick out all the debris as well as we go round each garden and look after it. Plenty to do this week after a stormy week, and let's hope we don't have too many storms like that in the future. And don't forget, Prunus Posadii. It's a lovely plant.